What's going on everybody? It's your boy named Matthews back again with another video and today we got another segment from today's video sponsor John Deere's Embroidery Legacy. So the task of the day is for me to inform you guys about the Digitizing Made Easy Challenge. But in order for me to educate you on the challenge, I had to take the challenge myself. Now I'm a self-taught graphic designer. Been digitizing for a few years, but since I've only been using this specific program for a few weeks, I took the challenge to help me transition my current knowledge into a completely new software. So let me show you guys what I learned and we're gonna put these skills to use. So this challenge has six lessons, four embroidery designs and two for quilting. Lesson one, line work, AKA red work. Lesson two, creating fills. Lesson three, special effects. Put some cool stuff on them stitches, you feel me? Lesson four, blending. And the last two designs are for quilting, which I don't do just yet, but stay tuned, man. You, your boy might dibble and dabble in this and that, you feel me? Now me being the creative that I am, I wanted to create something new that fits, you know, my style of work. So I took the lessons and stuff that I learned from those other steps and we're going to be applying it today to a completely new design. So let's go ahead and get started. So the program that I have open in the background right now is called Wilcom Hatch. This is a great program to go ahead and digitize in, but there's plenty to choose from. But this is one of the best from what I've done my research on. Trust me, there's a lot of stuff out there. You can still get it done. Like I said, I've only been using this recently, but it's a great program. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Step number one within the program, go ahead and select your reference image, unless you wanna just create something from scratch. I'm gonna be using a reference image for today's video. So for that, I'm going up here into the section that says insert artwork, and we're gonna select it. And this is the image that I'm gonna be using today. So I'll go ahead and press open, and it throws it into my project. Now, if you guys see this red line right here, this is the size of the frame that I have chosen for my hoop that I wanna to stitch today. Um, you can verify that by actually clicking out of it. It says regular right here under the hoop list and it's 100 by 100 millimeters, which is equivalent to four by four, uh, which is what most of my subscribers like a standard embroidery machine can accept. So with that being said, we wanna make this whole entire design fit within that four inches of space. So the way to do that is we click on the image and then we go to the uh, sizing here and we're gonna make the larger size 100 so it can actually fit within our area. Now I wanna fill it up into the entire space of the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the hot key by pressing zero on the keyboard or you can also just press design right here, it does the same thing and it enlarges it to the screen. The design that we're gonna be making today is only gonna be using one tool. Actually, it's gonna be using two tools. But for now, let's go ahead and get started with the first one, which is going to be doing a line work. Line work is going to be using, let's go ahead and minimize the artwork here. Over here at digitize, it's going to be under the one that says digitize and open shape. So that is step one. Line work, drawing the outlines. So this one with the design that this is, this is actually one line that creates this entire design. So it's just a continuous loop. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go from this point right over here all the way to this point in the corner. Um, be careful because again, you're gonna need to do this in like one step. If you mess up, you can kind of stitch this stuff together, but it shouldn't be too hard. So let's actually zoom into where we're gonna get started at. Again, we have it selected on digitized and open shape. And I'm going to be doing a left click right here to go ahead and get started. Now a left click will give me a straight line. I'm just gonna show you guys a quick example. Left click, left click, straight lines right there. But if I press escape, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna be doing a left click to start and a right click will actually give me a curve. So we're gonna start curving this to the line of the design. You feel me? Curve it to the line of the design. It's gonna be a lot of beeping here. We're just gonna take our time and do this entire thing. Zoom in if you need to.
gonna take me a little while to do all these clicks, and you probably don't want to hear me just click, 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 clicking all day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this, and you guys can catch me at the end after I'm done doing all of the line work. Now it's been a little minute, been doing a lot of clicking, but I just wanted to show you guys, most of this was all curves, but when I get to this corner right here, it's going to be a left click because I do want it to be nice and straight. We don't really want it to curve around this area as it doesn't curve around the picture. So I just hit it with a left click right there. And now we can go ahead and continue. I believe the rest of it is going to be some more right clicks. Let's continue. We're coming around the finishing corner, guys. We're almost done with this. Just a couple more clicks. We'll go ahead and get to the cool stuff. And there you have it, guys. So I am done clicking 10 million times. And now to set that in stone, all I need to do is hit the space button or the enter key to lock that stitch into place. So now when we back out, you can see exactly what we have. And we have all of the line work. We're gonna be doing the shading and all the uh, the fill stitch and stuff like that in a moment. But for right now, I'm gonna hit the letter D on the keyboard to make our artwork disappear. And you can see exactly what we have right here. Just a nice run stitch of our design that was in the background. Now. I know for sure I'm not going to want this design to be green. However, it can actually be any color you want, but I'm going to actually set it to black. So what I'm going to do is go in the corner here, type in black, and we're going to hit it. And it's going to turn our design and all these outlines into black. And this is what our design is looking like so far after we did all those clicks to create our line work, aka digitized in open shape. Again, this is how it looks like without the artwork. And there's the artwork in the back so you know that it's right on the money and that's how it's going to stitch right there now we need to do another step actually is it two steps or is it one if you guys look real close back here there is some shading going on on the shoe as well as the shading on the floor now these are realistically are two different colors but if you wanted to you can make them the same color but what i'm going to do right now is actually right click on what i just digitized and I'm going to hide it to make it a little easier for me to see what's in the background. And this time we're going to be digitizing a closed shape so we can actually create a fill stitch right here in the background. So let's go over here to the side right here and digitize a closed shape. And we're gonna do the same thing. Mostly right clicks to form curves. Let's go ahead and get started with that. If you guys actually mess up on one of your stitches, you can actually hit the backspace and it's actually going to remove one of your uh, connecting stitches. And that way you can try it again. As long as you do that before you press enter, you should be good. Otherwise, you're going to have to manually go in here and reshape your design. So again, we're just following this outline. It's going to be a pretty cool one line design 
again if you guys like this design of what i'm doing so far i know we're not done yet but if you guys can look at it so far and say hey that would be pretty cool to stitch out you guys can actually buy this file on the website neverdenyme.com um, but let's go ahead and finish it up first. So again, I'm back at my starting point. Once you get right here, you don't even need to click or nothing like that, or like left click or right click. Just go ahead and hit either enter or space on your keyboard. And it's going to actually connect those lines. Now, what I forgot to do before I did that line right there was go up here and click fill, but no need to worry. I can actually just select it right now and then click fill instead. And it's going to do that nice fill right there. Now, again, I'm going to be pressing uh, S on the keyboard or actually this is the first time I'm doing it on video but I'm gonna press S and that makes all my line work transparent so it's still there it's not hidden it's just temporarily like disabled I can see through it but I can still see all the lines and stuff like that now this is uh, very useful when you just want to make sure that you did follow the correct line um, or if it's hard to see if your uh, pattern is like very complex and you just need to digitize it as such uh, with just line work instead of it actually being a fill you can go ahead and do that so this does look like everything is correct right here. Um, let's see. It is a very light color. So with my lines being in black, maybe this should be like a light gray color, kind of, I guess, as it is on the actual design, right? So let's go ahead and click down here where it says add. We're going to add a second color. By default, it just threw in red right there. So let's actually click this. We're going to need to make it red for a second. And it can actually be any color you want it to be, depending on how, you know, it is digitized but for now I'm gonna type in gray and they got the warm gray the dark gray and the regular gray let's go ahead and go with the regular gray and it looks like it's a little bit darker on the one that's on the ground so now we're gonna be doing this again we're gonna digitize another um, close shape so we can do another separate thing here and then we're going to go ahead and reorder this entire design and it's going to uh, you know make it stitch in the way that it needs to stitch in so this one is going to just be easy it's a little small line on the floor there so we're going to digitize a closed shape and we're going to start it right here where it's at and we're going to create this shadow that is right here on the ground Now, once I get here, actually, I am going to go around a little bit and then we'll press enter. And then we're going to need to fix something right there because you see it's not supposed to be this big old jump right here that's in the corner. So the way to do that, we're going to go reshape. We'll click our line right here. And you, you guys can see all of these are like circles. That means these are rounded lines. But I want this one right here to be straight. So I'm just going to click it and hit the space button. And that actually makes that circle turn into a square, which means it's going to be a sharp line. And now it goes from right here all the way up there to where I need it to be. And we can actually move this one around just a tad bit as well. We'll go ahead and just click reshape again. And we'll just throw it, throw it right there in the corner. So there you have it, guys. We'll bring the design back. Um, we're going to separate these two and make them a different color. So as we had the light gray for the actual base of the shoe and the shadow of the shoe, um, the color that's going to be on the floor is going to be a darker gray color. So I do have to select the random color that it tossed in. And then I can go ahead and choose the dark gray color right there. And now we need to reorder this thing so it stitches correctly. So I'm going to press D on my keyboard to make it uh, the artwork disappear. I'll go ahead and press circle as well to zoom in. And then we do need this to stitch on top of this. And we're going to do, let's see. Let's bring our artwork back. The first thing we did, we're going to unhide the selected. I actually did the wrong thing there. So unhide all. And then we need to make sure that all of this line work and stuff like that goes on top of the base of the shoe. So we'll throw it this way like this. Let me go ahead and hit control save. Always make sure you save your work, guys, because this would have been a pain to have to redo. Some designs are kind of easy to uh, uh, digitize. But even though they're easy, easy to digitize, it still can take a long time. And even other designs, it takes me a couple hours to do. Like if you want really good, very detailed embroidery, like the stuff that I might, I don't know at the point I'm going to show it on screen or at the end of the video or whatever. If you guys want detailed stuff like that, or a matter of fact, I'll just say on the website, neverdenyme.com. If you want some stuff like that, that stuff is going to take a little while. And it takes a lot of, uh, you know, knowing about the stitch types, the fills, the, uh, the underlay, stuff like that. But this is what we got here so far. It's matching 
our design and what we had. Now we want to make sure that we got this, then this, let's see, this is going to be, let me do this first, cause that goes on the bottom. And the shoe is going to be going over the shadow. And I think we're done guys. If you wanted to, like on the design, you can actually put, I guess, another color right here. But I don't think I want that to be too noticeable. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is right now. And we'll go ahead and save this out. And um, let's see, let's change the stitch direction on this actually. To do that, we'll go ahead and click here, add stitch angles, and we're gonna go at an angle like that. And I think that'll look pretty cool. That looks pretty cool the way it's it's stitching, stitching out right there. We could actually do this. I think it's already in the correct stitch angle. So let's add them. I'm just gonna go kind of diagonal as well. And then these, the line art is just doing its own little thing, so we don't need to do too much with that at all. So control save. We can even watch the design and see exactly how it stitches out. I'm just gonna fast forward it a little bit. It's gonna start with the shading. It's gonna do the underlay. It's gonna fill the whole thing in. Then it's gonna do the shading on the shoe. It does the underlay, then it fills it in at the angle that we have chosen it to be at. Then we're gonna start with this line work and it's just gonna zigzag and loopity loop all throughout that design. And there you have it guys. So we have completed today's uh, project. Um, let's go ahead and make sure it is to size again because I think I did probably stretch it out a little bit on these corners. So let's actually go, we're going to highlight everything here. We're gonna make sure it is within 100 millimeters, which it is. And so we can go ahead and save it. So for that, we're just gonna go up in here, click file, save design. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and export it for our machine. I do have a brother machine. We're gonna keep it at the default name, Never Deny Me Shoes. We have our PES, which is for brother machines, baby lock and deco machines. We'll just go ahead and click save, and there you have it. So I'll go ahead and throw this on the machine. Not gonna stitch it out just yet, but I just wanna throw it on the machine to show you guys exactly how it looks, exactly how you know these files are created, and to, to verify for you that these files do work on the machine. So now that you guys have gotten a free lesson, Here's how you can support what I'm doing to keep it going. Hit the link in the description. The link in the description. Listen to what I'm saying now. Hit the link in the description to download your 30 day trial. The special link is gonna have exclusive bonuses that you ain't gonna get nowhere else. So that's why I need you guys to pay attention, man. Follow the directions, you feel me? Hit the link in the description. Download your 30 day trial. Support what I'm doing, man. Let's keep this movement going. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, just thumbs up the video. Hey, feel free to toss a little something in the tip jar too, man. If you're feeling it in your heart, go ahead and give your boy a little something, something, man. Throw it on the cash app. Throw it on the PayPal, whatever it is, man. That's if you're up to it, man. If you learned something today, it's up to you. You ain't got to. I'm still going to be dropping videos regardless. You guys want to show some love. The links are always in the description. And it'd be actually surprising me. That's why I'm bringing it up right now. Because quite a few people actually have been tipping me. They'll pay for a service of mine. I do the service for them. And then they toss me a little something extra. So... I really appreciate that, y'all. Thank you so much for that. If you guys are interested in stitching out the file that we just created on screen today, you can download the picture of the reference image and digitize it yourself if you want to, or if you just don't feel like doing all the work and stuff like that, go ahead and just take the work that I've done and gave you permission to use, you feel me? Don't be just stealing stuff now. But if you guys wanna just go ahead and buy this file of what we created today, you can also go ahead and purchase that over on the website, neverdenyme.com. And that's all there is to it for today's lesson. If you guys are interested in diving deeper into the craft, learning more, I'm gonna show you guys some more stuff on screen actually, some more complex designs that I've made. If you guys are interested in learning more about that, head over to the website, neverdenyme.com. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to to the page and stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and confidence. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.